morning guys it is june 17th and it is 6 a.m right now it is currently monday and it is one week away from ryan my boyfriend starting work at oracle in austin texas he wanted to get up and kind of mock trial everything so he shaved he is in the shower right now he's gonna eat breakfast then we're gonna go drive to oracle and see how far and how bad the traffic is at the exact time that he needs to drive there at. I think he even said he wanted to wear his suit too, just to like, you know, make sure everything is good. But we do have some errands planned today. It's a big day, y'all. I get internet today and cable, and I'm so freaking excited. If you guys know me, you know that I can't survive without internet. And thank God I've had my phone because I obviously can use my service, but I literally have one bar in this freaking apartment. It's definitely not the best, but I've had to deal with it. So I've waited long enough and I'm so excited to get my internet. Not even just because like YouTube and stuff like that, but mainly just because I bought this new TV and it's a smart TV. And like, I've always wanted a smart TV because it has like YouTube on it. It has Netflix, Hulu, Facebook Watch, like all of those really cool apps on the TV. Like I've had an Apple TV before, but it's just like kind of annoying. You have to like make sure the HDMI is on this one and then go make sure that Apple TV is on. You know, it's just like way more steps rather than just having it all in your TV. And also Bachelorette is on tonight. And I really need to remember that it starts at seven o'clock. I'm not sure if I told you all the story, but last Monday I went to a sports bar around the time of The Bachelorette. So when we were there, it was currently nine. So I was like, okay, I have an hour left. Might as well ask them to put it on because there was barely anyone even in there. So I was like, okay, I'll just ask. And then they spent so long finding the channel and like in the middle of it, I felt so bad. I realized that we were in central time and now everything starts like an hour early or at least The Bachelorette does. So it starts at 7 aka it ends at 9. So I felt so stupid like But I mean, can you blame me? I just moved here. So I got to get used to everything um, But yeah, need to remember that and I actually really like that because I feel like every time I watch like a TV show And it's two hours long like it ends at 10 I feel like it's time for bed and my whole day is over but if it ends at 9 I feel like it's not over like I feel like I have some time to do anything else I need to do before bed so I kind of like that it ends and starts earlier this is actually the first time that I'm seeing sunrise in this apartment and I specifically wanted this apartment because it's facing the city first of all gorgeous gorgeous view and it has the afternoon sun so you kind of get to see like the sunset unfortunately like not the full sunset because it's freaking building is like in the way but you still get the like sun in the afternoon if i like to sleep in i can still do work later in the night and you know still have the sun and like be able to work with the sun but i've never seen sunrise and it looks so pretty on the city and this morning i woke up and like the moon was like right out my window super super huge so i thought i would do a fake schedule day of my day at oracle so I actually got up early, pretended to take Sophie out. Oh. Um, <laughs> shaved a little bit, showered, brushed my teeth, put on like a suit. I didn't actually put a suit on, I just put on this fake suit because I had to take my new dry cleaned actually. So I'm trying to turn out my whole day. I need to leave by 7.15 to get there by 8. I really need to be by 7.30 really, so maybe I should leave at 7. Uh -huh. To get my pass. So I'm going to fake have coffee and then we'll, <laughs> then we'll head out. We made it. It only took us like eight minutes. Yeah. It didn't take too long. It was actually way more crazy the first day when like three other people were trying to get here at the same time. So I think seven might be a good time. Maybe leave a little bit earlier. So we are back. It is currently 8.30 and we did like a couple of things. We put Ryan's car on a charger. Um, we took his clothes to the dry cleaning and we went to Oracle and just like kind of like, you know, mapped it out and everything. We have quite a bit on our to-do list for today. The first thing on my to-do list is we need to figure out the guest room situation because it's a little crazy in there. I still haven't hung up all my clothes just yet, so I need to do that now. So 
so we got distracted and we're currently going through my decorations from my Katie dorm room and we're seeing like what can go and I feel like my decorations are kind of like very Texas-y but Ryan thinks they're like very tacky which like he made them so like, like modern theme lines they put back and stuff. but it's like farmhousey if you make it farmhousey you know these shelves are so cute and I know so many people loved them in my uh dorm room video and uh like I posted a picture I had so many saves on these shelves so I really want these to go up <laughs> I really want these to go up like maybe over my desk or something I think that would be cute maybe put a little plants something action I don't know I think it would look really cute there with like our white couch like I feel like it'd look really cute Hmm. I have this, just like little accessories. I think this star can stay out here. Maybe that mirror. You really don't like any of my white stuff? Um, it seems too try hard boho. You mean, uh, what? It seems kind of like try hard boho. Yeah, I know it is. Thank you. It's 9.55 and I'm about to go get my eyebrows done for the first time in so freaking long. I honestly don't remember the last time I did it. Definitely in Orlando. Today I'm going to go to Hollywood Brows and it's really, really close. I know I got like a lot of recommendations, but most of them were in the UT area, which means like across the river, North Austin. And I was just like, I don't want to like get used to somewhere that's so far away. So I'm going to try out this place because it's like 1.4 miles away from my place so hopefully i have a good experience i'm really really scared because you know how like when they're so like grown out and bushy and then you finally get them done you think they went so thin on you but it's just like they took out like like obviously the necessary you know little hairs but it just looks so much thinner so this is the after and i think she like really made them even like this one she did make a little bit thinner but honestly I don't blame her because I'd rather have even eyebrows than like one a little bit thicker we have internet and cable how exciting the guy just came and I just got an Amazon package so I want to unbox it for you guys don't really know what's in it but we will find out because I bought like a couple things on Amazon so I don't know which one it is but um my gate code's not working, so I had to like run down. That's why I'm out of breath. And open the gate for him. How do you feel? It's nice. My, oh, my computer immediately started playing on it. It's so proud. I'm so excited to set up our smart TV. I just want to be able to like watch my YouTube watch later list on the TV. Okie dokie, we have a package. We have hot pads. I bought these off Amazon. They're really cute. I'll link them down below. Um, then I bought just some cookie sheets because I'm just that millennial that I can't get them at Target or something. But they were also like way cheaper on Amazon. My biggest goal for today is to not take a nap because I've been so bad at it like these past couple weeks. I've been just napping in the middle of the day like because I haven't been driving my own car because his mom was here and he was here so I didn't really have to drive. So I would just sleep in the back of the car. It's honestly a gift, I'd like to think so, to be able to sleep in like any moving vehicle and just like pass out, especially like right when I uh, eat something. I like literally fall right to sleep. <laughs> But today, I'm trying to stay up because I know in the adult world, that's not a thing. You unfortunately cannot take naps. We are at HEB. It is currently 4.54 and I have not taken a nap. But, but I've felt really sleepy this whole day. But you know, gotta get over the hump. So I have some very exciting news to share with you guys. My new camera just got here. I was not expecting it to be here today. I literally thought it said June 24th. Thought it was gonna wait a week, but it's here. 
I got the Sony A7 III and holy crap first of all I just tried it on Ryan really quick um and it's so high quality like you can zoom in and like see his like little brow hairs it's so cool about to go into HEB though we have a bunch more to get for our grocery list for like the week Miss Brenda bought like some basics for us and just snacks but we didn't really buy any meals so that's what we're gonna go do right now y'all look at this they have the biggest array of sushi I've ever seen in a supermarket before this is insane this is like the type of rolls I would order at a sushi restaurant. So cool. So it's almost bachelorette time. We are currently cooking steaks. It's actually not we, definitely mainly Ryan. He knows how to deal with meats way better than me. We're gonna pick up my new suit at Joseph A. Banks. I finally came in. I had to order it separate because I'm a little too thick for uh, <laughs> my sizes. So she'll vlog me trying it on, Jose tailored it and everything. Watch us 88, I think, yeah. Feels like hotter. Yeah, it probably does feel like hotter and humid. <sighs> but right now, what are we gonna do? Um, we have a lot of online chores to do, really. Really? You need to go Ulta, right? Yeah, I wanna go to Ulta. Where else do we need to that. go? Ulta is kind of far from our house. I'm really hurt. Yeah, well, let's get in the car and look at yeah. our plan. So we are doing something really exciting right now. We're gonna get a joint bank account. <laughs> Sounds way weirder when you say it like that. Yeah, it does sound a little weird. We just need an account to pay your rent out of, basically, just yeah. so we can both pay into it, so like the equal. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that right now. I think we're gonna do it at Bank of America. Um, I already bank with them. Do you? Yeah, I already did. I thought you like to chase or I something. Both. Oh, yeah, I bank with Bank of America, so we're just gonna do that since we both do that already. Um, we're currently still downtown and it's just crazy here like i feel like we're so used to downtown being like something not negative you but like you don't, you don't use downtown in atlanta you yeah i mean like you have to go down there and then you have to go down there to do something but you don't like just go to downtown atlanta to, like because our stuff. nice areas aren't downtown you know what i mean it was yeah, like, like buckhead and like ponce market midtown but that wasn't like downtown but this is like so different for us and like a lot of the like architecture just kind of reminds me of New York a little bit. It's like new buildings mixed with old buildings. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, and it's a good mixture. It doesn't seem like out of place or anything like that. Apparently you have to swipe your debit card to get in here. So we are being requested into a room right now to have a private video chat with this guy right here. So like futuristic and cool. This feels like a Black Mirror episode or something like that. Oh, in here. damn it. I thought I killed it. There's two of them. I want a video chat with this guy. It's really cool. <laughs> We're coming up with ideas for the newest Black Mirror episode, so look out. Oh my god, there's a button right now. There's like fruit flies. Austin, make America, do you see this? Unacceptable. We are back. We're back from the bank. And oh my god, it took so it long. Ass, I know. It Two was hours there. Okay, so you know what's funny? It did look like some Black Mirror shit. And it was basically like a virtual like person. It's like a meeting room where you should meet with a computer mm -hmm. with some on the other side of it. So it was really cool at first. And I was telling Ryan, like, I feel like all Black Mirror episodes start like this, that they like turn are, bad, like, yeah. cool and then they turn bad. Yeah. And <laughs> like halfway through, there were so many like little fruit flies that I was getting really like irritated and just like, you know, when it's you see irritated. bugs, yeah, it was like not really air conditioned. You know, when you see bugs, you just get really just like 
a little itchy and just like, oh, just get them away from me kind of feeling. I was like about to freak out and like leave. And of course his computer was having problems so it took us like double the amount of time and we were supposed to get like a debit card and a credit card and we didn't even like get a credit card because like we had a 30 minute parking spot and I swear that thing took like an hour or something. Almost two. Really? Oh god. We did have like a couple more errands to run. We ended up not going to Ulta because it was kind of far and at the time we mapped it. It was like 22 minutes. I was like forget about <coughs> it. I'll just go like another day. Let's go after traffic. No we can't. But we still need to do the guest room and my closet. Let's do that still now. Done. We have online chores to do. Like buy, buy like a coffee table, <clears throat> coffee table, bed frame. I need a new like, uh, I said purse, <laughs> a new bag for work. My apartment touring video is getting so many views and so many comments about like, leave Austin. Like we don't need you here. Like get out. Like there's too many people. And I'm just like, okay, just telling me that. Like it's <laughs> not gonna do anything. You know, like there's so many jobs here you can't really do anything about it like yeah, i don't know why people companies are, to stop building here yeah like i don't know why people are actually like using their energy to comment that on my video like i get that it's like slightly a joke but like also not so like if you're one of those people hold your comments because like we literally just got an apartment i don't know what you want me to do go back to atlanta it's not happening so <laughs> we are in some gym clothes because we're ready to get sweaty because we're going to play tennis we got these we rackets at Salvation Army. Yeah, Salvation Army for like four bucks. And it was honestly like a really good decision because it's kind of just fun to hit it around and you burn a ton of calories doing it. So we are gonna go find a tennis court around here because I've been craving to play and just to like sweat. And obviously you could easily sweat here in Austin just getting out of the house. But like I need to, you know, start getting healthy because I don't know. I feel like I need to be healthy. <laughs> also, someone commented that I was fat and I belonged in Texas on my video today. So, thanks for my motivation. I actually really needed that. <laughs> so, thank you. So, we got to Stacy Park. Is that what it's called? Little Stacy, I think. Little Stacy Park. And apparently, there's construction going on, major construction. And the tennis courts have like sand on them and they don't even have nets. So, look at this place, yeah. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they're gonna redo it to make it like really, really nice. Cause I see the potential, but hopefully like they do it fast. Cause it's gonna be really pretty and nice in fall, especially. Yeah, but, we'll be um, out here to play tonight. We're gonna have to find somewhere else. We left the park and we came to what we thought was the rec center. It was actually the Austin Golf Center. Tennis Center. Tennis Center, that's what I meant. And you had to pay to play there. So now we're at the rec center who has one and a half courts. I mean, it's half of it's a basketball court. And people and are playing, are playing on one of the tennis courts yeah. and, and the other people are playing on the freaking basketball court on the tennis court. Our current situation. So we're trying to wait it out. We'll see how long people are gonna play for. So we actually just got the court. It didn't take long for the girls to leave that were playing, which we lucked out on that because I feel like it could have been a really long time. Um, but we're gonna start playing. I have my like goofy glasses on. These I found were, those. <laughs> I literally found these in the ocean because one time Ryan lost his Ray Bans, and so he was so optimistic. He was like, "I'm gonna find them. They're gonna be in this ocean. We're gonna find them." And then he randomly found these, and they weren't <laughs> even like that scratched up. I mean, if you look at them, they are pretty scratched up, but like I can see perfectly out of them. And I don't have any that are polarized, and these are right. No, they're just blue though. Uh, well. Either way, they're probably like the best like actual like sunglasses I own because all of my other ones are like trendy and just not like really like cool, yeah. beneficial. So <laughs> I'm gonna use these and look like a goofball playing tennis out here, but yes. <laughs> every girl field day in middle school. Yes, literally. And I just ordered a tennis skirt online. Um, I ordered it from Walmart. I mean, I didn't get anything special, but I thought I should play the part while I uh, <laughs> play some balls. So I bought that this morning.